The PlayStation 5 may still feel shiny and new, but the gaming world is already buzzing about what Sony has in store for its next console generation. While the Japanese tech giant remains tight-lipped, a steady trickle of rumors and speculation provides our first glimpses at the potential PlayStation 6 on the horizon. Let's get into the details right away. Sony has established a fairly consistent 6-7 to seven year life cycle for its PlayStation consoles. The PS3 arrived in 2006, followed by the PS4 in 2013, and then the PS5 in 2020. Following this pattern, one could reasonably expect the PS6 to launch around November 2026 or 2027. However, the PS5's sluggish rollout and extended life cycle across both PS4 and PS5 games may push the PS6 debut to 2028. This projected 2028 PS6 release window aligns with Microsoft's alleged expectations discussed during its Activision acquisition battle. Court documents revealed Microsoft anticipating the next generation of PlayStation console after 2027. So, while nothing is official, the gaming industry seems to be operating under the assumption that the PS6 is still a few years away. In the hardware department, credible rumors suggest Sony will stick with its longtime partner AMD to power the PS6's guts. YouTubers like Moore's Law is dead and Red Gaming Tech claim their sources confirm this AMD partnership will continue for the next PlayStation. If true, this could allow the PS6 to target staggering performance, like 4K gaming at 120fps or even 8K at 60fps. However, the latter seems ambitious given the PS5's inconsistent 4K 60fps delivery. Reasonable expectations may be a powerful AMD Zen 4 CPU and RDNA A3 GPU, enabling stellar 4K performance with reliable 120Hz support. The PS6 will likely integrate Sony's proprietary PlayStation Link wireless audio technology, seen in recent headsets and earbuds. This low-latency, lossless connectivity could enhance the PS6's audio capabilities and connectivity within Sony's gaming ecosystem. AI features for assisted gameplay hints or even experimental AI-powered NPCs are other potential inclusions, given the current industry focus on this. When it comes to technology in terms of design, the PlayStation 6 will hopefully learn from the oversized PS5 and reduce its garish footprint. A slimmer, more refined look akin to the PS4 would be welcome. But with Sony patenting bizarre controller concepts like one that morphs and changes temperature, the PlayStation 6 design remains a fascinating mystery. The PS5 launched in standard and digital edition models, and the PS6 could follow suit. However, with digital gaming proliferating, a diskless PS6 with an optional attachable disk drive is one potential strategy fresh off the updated PS5 model's design. While no PS6 games are officially announced yet, a few major upcoming titles already have fans eyeing them as potential cross-gen releases or PS6 launch windows. Hideo Kojima's cryptic next-generation action espionage game, Fant The Witcher 4, codenamed Polaris from CD Projekt Red, and a Cyberpunk 2077 sequel, codenamed Orion by CD Projekt. Of course, many fans are already hoping for a Bloodborne remaster or re-release to commemorate the PS6's arrival, following the PS5's Demon's Souls remake. With the PS6 still years out, the anticipation is palpable. Pricing details are pure speculation. However, Sony has historically targeted the $400 to $500 range for base PlayStation models to strike an affordable yet premium balance. The PS6 will likely continue this strategy, perhaps launching at $400 or $600 to account for inflation. Much like the PS5's $499 premium model, an all-digital PS6 could debut for $100 cheaper, around $399 or $449. But unless Sony pulls some real rabbits from its hat, Expecting a PS6 price tag over $600 seems unrealistic based on the company's past. As players settle into the PS5 generation stride, the PlayStation 6 already looms on the horizon as our next major gaming milestone. Sony's past product cycles provide some useful guideposts. If patterns hold, the PS6 could grant our 8K gaming wishes somewhere between late 2026 and 2028, with AMD furnishing its high-powered guts. So, what do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.